Braintree is extreme, but schools say they are seeing more behavior issues in classrooms this year. Thank you for joining us. I'm Anna Redis Rodriguez. And I'm David Wade. Paula is off tonight. The pandemic may be to blame for some of this. WBZ's Lisa Greshi shows us why. And this is his first year of like real school. It's hot on the parents, it's hot on the kids, it's hot on the teachers. Since school's been back, it's something parents. They're just like running here and there and just acting up and being fresh. And, and teachers. I've always said, you know, I, I, I don't teach math, I teach kids. Are noticing. When you're alone all the time, you don't have to be accountable to anybody else for a year or a year and a half, and then you come back to school with 1,200 kids in a school. Um, you know, we're going to see some of those acting out behaviors. Though they may have been keeping up with their studies remotely, these kids have been out of school, which means away from each other. Eighth grade teacher Tim Briggs immediately picking up on the difference here in Haverhill. Wow, the last time they were all together and we had a full school, they were in sixth grade. So you can kind of tell, you know, the difference between who was engaged with other human beings, quite honestly, and who wasn't. How kids are acclimating to being back here at school is something every school district has its eyes on. Nearly every superintendent's office we call today aware of the clear changes in students. Also, how do we prioritize socio-emotional learning? How do we prioritize student mental health? Members of the Boston Teachers Union say the district has brought in social workers, but it's clear more help is needed. And we can't just return to normal. We need to make something different for them, um, something that really acknowledges what they've been through and supports them in returning to school after that. Uh, and that's not normal. It's, it's a new that we have to make. The solution? I think we have to be patient. You know, because what they've really missed is time. And parents and administrations turning to the only experts we may have on this, the teachers. Ask. Ask us. There's nobody that's an expert on the pandemic because we've never had one. And the only expert on how these kids are feeling during a pandemic is them. Reporting in Haverhill, Lisa Greshi, WBC News.